someone I'm not talking about one person even if there are one million people there's somebody right in the service look at my hand this is where your problem is you can't bend your legs this way for some time now and for the first time move that leg you are healed in Jesus name 
Father, I vow never to take your glory. Move that leg. You are healed. When God speaks to one, he speaks to all. Move that leg. While I'm talking, there's another person. You, For some time, you had injury through football. You couldn't move your legs. Now, stamp that leg on the ground. No pain. You played football and that injury has been for time now. Stamp it again. That pain is gone in Jesus' name. Lift your hands and just tell him I love you, mighty God. Just tell him you love him. 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 Open your mouth and tell him you love him. I give you praise, mighty God. There's none like you forever. You're on the throne. I bless your name, Lord. In the name of Jesus. There's someone with lump in the breast. That lump is gone in Jesus' name. There's someone here, they've told you had cancer. You are not in the headquarters. Cancer of the breast and you are full of fear. The sign that God has healed you, that breast before now, you can't touch it. Touch it, there will be no pain. Touch it, no cancer. I know it is not know my name, cancer has died. Touch that breast, that pain is gone. Go to your doctor. Tomorrow they will tell you there will be no trace of cancer. In the name of Jesus. But the physical proof, press that breast. You couldn't do that. It was terrible. Go ahead now, press it. There will be no pain. Thank you, Lord Jesus. There's a lady with pain in your womb. You are healed in Jesus' name. While well, I'm talking, there's another one with mass in your womb. You are healed in Jesus' name. Somebody with an eye problem, an eye defect, you are healed in Jesus' name. There's another one who couldn't hear in your ear. Your ear popped open as I'm talking in the name of Jesus. Let your glory fill this house. Let your praises be in my mouth. And the verse will offer unto you a sacrifice of praise. Let your glory fill this house. as if there's electric shock. I've never seen that before. It vibrates. Very strange disease. It's as if you have electric shock. You are healed. Before now, the entire mouth from the tongue shakes as if you had a shock. Medically, they, they've not been able to handle it. You are healed in Jesus' name. As I'm talking, somebody is healed, right? With the saw on your tongue, that saw is gone in Jesus' name. There's someone asking a question, Lord, would you heal me of my HIV? You ask that question and God answered you on the spot. You are healed of that HIV in Jesus' name.
never will I take your glory, mighty God. I vow to give it back to you. Sacrifice of declares that himself took our infirmities and bare our sicknesses. God's word declares by stripes you and I were healed. His word declares that Jesus Christ healed them all. His word declared that I'm the Lord that healed you not I words. He said I am the Lord. So he's still healing. He said thus saith not thus said the Lord. So he's still healing. He still heals. And we still heal. Wherever you're watching from all over the world. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. With a ham and with my sir. I pronounce you healed of that disease. In the name that is above every name in Jesus name. You are healed of that cancer. You are healed of that terminal disease. You are healed of that plague. Somebody with high blood pressure, you are healed in Jesus' name. I give you praise, my God. As someone with injection abscess, you are healed in the name of Jesus. and work in Jesus' name. Do what he couldn't do before miracles will happen. I am not a healer. It's out healing everyone all over the world, wherever you're hearing this message from right now. Do what he couldn't do that just out of faith and it will touch you where you are. There's somebody healed of heart palpitation. 
There's someone with a heart condition, you are healed in Jesus' name. There's someone with a back pain, you are healed in Jesus' name. Miracles are happening everywhere. There's someone here who did, I don't know, what you did something in China and you are sick, acupuncture, whatever. You are not healed, but you are healed now. God said to me clearly, you are healed. How you know you are the one? You couldn't get healed in China, but God healed you now. In the name of Jesus. Vow to give you back the glory. Miracles are happening everywhere. I don't need to call your case. There's one that he's, his name is Jesus. He's everywhere, whether you are watching on the internet, he's there where you are. Walk out if you're in any of the churches. If you know you are healed, walk out and then give the glory to God. The miracle is yours, but the testimony belongs to God. And we give you praise, mighty God. While I'm talking, somebody shot hand. Somebody shot hand grief in the name of Jesus. Just rush out and let them have your testimonies. Come out to the front of the church and have people to take your testimony.
watching outside the country. You can't talk. You are in your hospital. Your voice is virtually closed. For the first time, tell the doctors to move that gadget. You will talk clearly. You are here. You are in the hospital watching at the point of there. You are hearing me clearly, but you can't talk. Now tell them you will talk. You will talk clearly. You are healed in Jesus' name. For some weeks now, you can't talk. For the first time, talk now. You People will hear you and you are healed. You are set for this service. I'm going to hit you where you are. Thank you, Jesus. I rebuke dead in Jesus' name. Everyone appointed to die, I declare you free by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ, you shall live in Jesus' name. Blessed be your name, mighty God, and Jesus' most wonderful name. There is a strange anointing in this service, not only for healing. That business crawling, the same Holy Spirit does not only heal, He delivers. I know when God is at work, that situation not working. That business not working. The same power of the Holy Spirit. Bring something as a point of contact. There's a strange anointing in the service. Anything you have as a point of contact, bring it out. That business not working. No noise, just bring something out as a point of contact. If everywhere at the reach of my voice, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whose I have and whom I serve, I speak with authority in that name and I declare whatever is not working that you have lifted up as a point of contact the power of the Holy Spirit make it work right now Amen. that ministry crawling that business crawling if you know the name just write the name on a piece of paper there is an atmosphere for the miraculous in this service the same God that is healing is touching that business that situation in the name of Jesus Wherever you have lifted any point of contact, I decree in the name of Jesus, situation must change. Amen. Lift it up to heaven and just tell him thank you. Wave it to him and tell him thank you. Thank you, mighty God. In the precious name of Jesus. Yes. Papa. You may be seated, church. This lady was attacked by armed robbers a year ago, precisely April. And they beat her legs, both legs. From that time, she has had severe pains. But particularly, she cannot step her foot on the ground. That it shocks her. But right now, as soon as the ministry was going on,
something hit her and the pain is gone. No more shock. She can match the ground wire with both legs now. You, you couldn't do that? Do again what you couldn't do for one year. You heard what he said? He said, I'm Robert Smith on ledge. And from that time, she couldn't do that. Do again, no pain. No pain. No pain. If they are still alive, except I'm not sent, I command all of them dead. The only condition is if any of them is born again, then he's accepted. But if any of them is still alive as a robber, right with the same Holy Spirit that said to him, he must be blind. I pronounce such robbers dead in the name of Jesus. I decree judgment from heaven to execute them this night. None of them sees tomorrow morning. In Jesus' mighty name. Pastor, this young man was playing football seven years ago and he sustained an injury on his right knee. He said since then he couldn't flex his knee, he couldn't bend his knee. But as the word of uh, knowledge came, came forth, he said the pain immediately left him and he can now do what he could not do before. For seven years? Do what he couldn't do for seven years. Something you know you find difficult to do. Come closer. You couldn't do that for seven years? Do it again. No pain. No pain. Come. So take the next testimony. What's she that? has a similar testimony. She, she said she has yes, still pain on her knee. She couldn't stand for five minutes. As the word of knowledge came forth, the pain left. She has been standing here while the worship has been going on for more than five minutes. Do something you couldn't do before. No pain. Are we?